Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a lookbook, and a lookbook is a whole bunch of different looks uh, with a couple of different palettes. And this time I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do a lookbook with all the very new this year Halloween palettes. So this is all current Halloween palettes. I wasn't expecting this many of them, uh, but since I have them, we might as well go ahead and do a whole lookbook series with them. So starting off with uh, the Revolution Skin Silk in F2 and the L'Oreal Lumi um, Glotion and the Elf, and this is the Bronzing Drops in Rose Gold. I went ahead and mixed all of these together to go ahead and get my base today. And then I did go ahead and use the L'Oreal True Match, and um, yeah, this is LM as far as my uh, concealer there. So that's what we're starting off with. Went ahead and used the Sunrise Bronzer by Flower Beauty because it has a really mauve base. And then with the first of the products, uh, Wet n Wild came out with the whole Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Today I have on Barrel of Scare, so that's what I have on there. And they came out with a whole bunch of products. These are the lip and cheek colors. So these, all three of these, and these are really good fall colors, um, are for lip and cheeks. And I know that you can get these off the Wet n Wild website. I think I saw these over at Ulta too. And um, then as far as uh, the highlighter, I went ahead and used uh, the Catrice Supreme Rose Beam on this. I also used the Catrice Sungasm Powder for my all over finishing powder. And I went ahead and used one of the NYX Buttermilk Glosses. This is one of the Sandworms one from the Beetlejuice movie. And then the Meta Gloss by Essence. So that's what that looks like. As far as what I actually did for the eye look, uh, the Wet n Wild, and this is the Nightmare Before Christmas um, palette. It's a really good palette. I suggest picking it up if you um, are looking for a new palette. And uh, so I went ahead and I started with uh, the black and I did that on, I basically did a halo eye. So I did the black on the outer and then on the inner and then I went ahead and put the green right in the middle of the lid. Uh, this shade is actually really cool. It's actually um, more of a cream shade and it's a duochrome and I did that from there to there and then there to there. And um, this palette is pretty neat overall. It, um, it has a bunch of different formulas. Down here in the corner, you get a holographic shadow or a holographic glitter. And there's also a glitter up here. With this one, with the holographic one, it has a whole bunch of different colors in it. And I actually used it to top the green part of the look. And um, then you also get this cream shadow, which is a duochrome. Um, these are duochromes, this one, and a couple of other ones in the green one here. So you can get all sorts of different looks. I've gotten a gold look, I've gotten a green look, a blue look, all sorts of fun looks with this one. And so it's a really good palette. Um, they really did a whole bunch of different formulas, and so I think that you would be happy if you went ahead and picked this one up. And then as far as the eyeliner, this is also from NYX, and this is part of the Beetlejuice collection. Fun eyeliner, it's double-sided, so it has, um, you know, a, a glittery, glittery, shimmery end, and then it also has a black end. And so today I went ahead and used black eyeliner along the bottom there. I was going to go ahead and see if we could put a little bit of the shimmer on top and see how that looks. So there we go with a little bit of shimmer. It did show up. Here it is. So, um, yeah. That's how uh, that eye look came out. And again, uh, this is on the Wet n Wild website or over at Ulta. 
and it's a really cute palette. It has a whole bunch of different formulas in it, and it can really give you those deep, scary Halloween looks. So um, I'll go ahead and be back with the next look, and it'll be just a moment. Okay, so Adrian back again, and so um, I'm back with the second look from the new palettes or the new Halloween palettes that I've gotten. And so I did go ahead and refresh with the Sandworms by NYX, the Butter Gloss, and the Meta Glow by Essence. So yeah, we redid the lips. I added a little bit of the Moira, and this is the Foxy Pink highlighter on as well, and refreshed a little bit of the Catrice, and this is the Supreme Roast Bee. So I didn't change the whole base look, I just sort of refreshed it, retouched it. And then I did go ahead and use the NYX Beetlejuice, and I really did love this movie. I thought it worked out really well. And so, um, yeah, I was really glad to get this palette. You can get it on the NYX website or over at Ulta. And um, this is the way it looks like. Um, they really upped their formula, and I had gotten a whole bunch of NYX palettes last year, and they're good. But this one, as far as their shimmers, they went ahead and added in, I think, a lot of micro glitter. And so for me, it just makes them pop, and it makes them really pretty. So um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the Glisten Up and see maybe if I can get them to pop. So, yeah, we'll get that a second to dry. Um, but I did go ahead and use the matte in the crease. Went ahead and used this cranberry, the shimmery cranberry on the outer corner. Right in the middle of the lid, I had the green. Or no, pardon me. All over the lid, I had the green. Then right in the middle of the lid, I had the silver. And as far as what I went ahead and did for the eyeliner, I used a combination of the Emeride and green, and then I also used another of the uh, Beetlejuice, and this is their, um, yeah. And so on the last look, I went ahead and used the black eyeliner, and then on this look, I went ahead and topped the green with uh, the shimmery highlighter. And so this is uh, the look that I got. I think it turned out beautiful. I mean, I'm really, um, this is really good palette and it's intimidating because it doesn't have, you know, a lot of, a lot of neutrals to go ahead and, um, you know, put the look into, but it is a great palette and this formula is spectacular. This way that the look came out, and so I just thought, I mean, you want to talk about shimmery print, pretty, sparkly with a whole bunch of pop. Yeah, it's gorgeous. This is a really good one. And um, yeah, so I will be back in a moment with the next look and I'll see you then. So hi, Adrian, back again with the third look in the lookbook. And um, I did go ahead and retouch a little bit again. Use some Moira um, Foxy Pink on the cheeks and then I also use some of the Catrice and this is the Supreme uh, Rose Beam as well for my highlighter. That's what I have on there. To get out the ColourPop Stranger Things, the brand new uh, release from them for Halloween and it is very scary. You have a monster on the packaging just so you know in case you're feeling a little queasy. And um, this is a gorgeous palette. I they did an amazing job with this. Um, this is like the fifth or sixth look I've done, and I keep on finding new looks, and they're just really pretty. So I went ahead and used uh, this color right under the brow. Then I used a mixture of um, let's see which ones uh, these two colors on the outer corner. And then right in the very middle of the lid, I went ahead and used this color. This is actually a glitter. It's one of the ColourPop glitters that's so finely melted that you don't really need a glitter glue with it. And so that's what I went ahead and put right on the center of the lid. Right on the inner corner of the lid, I went ahead and put the green color here. And it's a really pretty metallic. And then I put a 
a little bit of the other glitter and this is both of these this one and this one are both glitter shades and so they do feel a little bit crunchy um, but they're suspended so you can go ahead and use them without glitter glue um, if you're concerned about that they can be used with glitter glue as well and then I did go ahead and use uh, this one as far as the eyeliner on the bottom and um, I think the look turned out really fun um, it's definitely a deep dark Halloween kind of um, but if you have a Halloween party this would definitely be one of those looks and that's the way that it sort of worked out and um, yeah, these looks, since they have so much glitter in them, and these palettes are done so well, they're coming out so glam and so fun. And so, yeah, I'm really enjoying getting to get to do something that's, you know, really, really glamorous on the, it's almost editorial, so it's really fun to get to mix and do it way up. So um, I'll be back with another look, and it'll be just a moment for you and a little while for me. Hi, it's Adrian back again with the fourth look uh, from the new Halloween palettes. And so again, I did touch a little bit with the Moira Foxy Pink and the Catrice Supreme Rose Bean. Added a little bit more of the NYX Butter Gloss and the Sandworms colors. And um, as far as what I have on the eyes this time, I did go ahead and get out the ColourPop Welcome, or Welcome Foolish Mortals. This actually came out last year but they re-released it this year and it's in store over at Target or you can get it on the ColourPop website and so uh, this is what I have on today it has some really beautiful shades in it so I did start with this in the outer corner and then this is one of the glitters again that you don't need the glitter glue with so I put this on the outer corner and this one right on top of it. On the lid I went ahead and put this one. Then uh, this is a really pretty creamy shade and I actually went from the corner all the way up and then all the way over with this one. Um, I did use a little bit of this shade as well from here to here as well and then this shade I went ahead and put right on the very inner corner. Yeah yeah, I did. I put this one on the very inner corner. The dark teal I used as an eyeliner on the bottom. And um, yeah, I think it turned out really well. And so this is, uh, I haven't picked this up until this year. Um, but if you want a palette that gives you a lot of neutrals to work with, and you just want to do, you know, a little bit of color, this would be one of the palettes to get because it's going to give you a lot of neutrals, a lot of smoky color. Hi, it's Adrian, and so I'm back with the last look from the lookbook. And actually, since uh, this is the makeup that I'm going to be wearing for the day, I went ahead and I redid the whole makeup, um, but I used the exact same products. So I used the same foundation, the same bronzing drops, same lotion. Uh, the only thing that I did differently was I did go ahead and use um, the Sandworms again by NYX, the Butter Gloss that came out with Beetlejuice. But this one I had the pink one on and I did use the Meta Gloss by Essence as well. So that's how that one came out. And then for the eye look, what I went ahead and did was the uh, Twilight, and so this did come out earlier, came out at the beginning of the year, uh, but it definitely fits the theme. And so I think it's a beautiful palette. I've actually hit pan on a couple of places, and this may actually be a palette that I repurchase, and I never do that with uh, shadow palettes, but I really do like it a lot. I used this one on the outer corner, and then I topped uh, this matte with uh, this shimmer, and yeah, I, no, this regular shimmer, it isn't one of the glitters. And um, but this is a glitter, and I put this on top of it as well. So yeah, actually, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. There we go. Now we have more glitter on there. Um, I did use this for my lid shade in this really pretty duochrome. It has some gray and green and white in there. 
and then I did go ahead and use this one uh, right on the inner corner and this one's really pretty topper kind of glitter color um, this one I did go ahead and use as my eyeliner on the bottom and did I use anything else? Nope, I think that's all. Um, I did do an entire lookbook with the Twilight palette, so uh, I find this to be a really versatile, very different, very unique palette for me. And like I said, it's one of the palettes that if I do um, go ahead and you know get something to go ahead and replace it, I would probably replace this palette because it's definitely one of my favorites of the year. So uh, this way that the look came out. And yeah, I think that's probably it for the lookbook. And um, these are all palettes that have come out this year. I really have loved all of them. They're all really good formulas. They all went really much more glam than I thought that they would go. I thought they would go more of a grungy sort of Halloween, but these really came out to be glam. And for me, that's fun. I love doing glam editorial looks. So um, yeah. This is uh, the lookbook for uh, Halloween 2024, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.